Hi, this is Sylvia, and I'm going to do a quick review of the Explode the Code Phonics books. These are books that we have really enjoyed for our children. I've used them with my 8-year-old and my 6-year-old. Um, they do have books 1 through 8, and also besides the Explode the Code books, they have the Beyond the Code books, which are definitely more difficult. So the level 1 does not line up with the Explode the Code one. It would line up with the three or four of Explode the Code. So let me dive in the Explode the Code. Um, I don't have the book one, but here's the book two. What I really enjoy about these is that they help teach your children how to read um, by introducing simple activities that that show um, the different, th this is letter blends. The first book has just simple words like cat, hat, um, dog, things like that. These are letter blends in book two that they introduce. So you know, GL for glasses, FL for flower. And I really like these activities. They they read the, the word, they copy it and circle it. So they're learning, you know, FL for full at, then they write it out, they circle it. You know, clam, clap. And then they have other activities too where they circle either club or cub, clip or lip. And then here's a word bank with pictures and then they have to write down the word down here. So it's really nice because your kids um, get exposure to the same words over and over again. They have flat on several of the pages. They have back and back and you know they, they really do a nice job of um, reintroducing the word several times. They get exposed to it several times. Here's flag again and black again and clam again. And then they have simple word or sentences to read that have the words that they um, had just worked on. Now, some of these are sight words, like the A um, and the, and I'm not sure if this one has the in it, but there's a few sight words, but most of the words are the words that they've been working on. Then again, a small sentence to read and figure out which one it is. So I really like the Explode the Code books because then they, after they do the, the blends, then they work on further blends. So then this is going to be tack and track, and they'll work in the same words for several activities, and then they move on to adding some more words. Um, so my son finished this Explode the Code book two. He still needed a little bit of practice. He's six, um, so I got him book two and a half. They do have books one through eight, and they also have one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. So if your kid needs more practice on a certain um, level, you can just get the, the half book. So here's the book three. This is the book that they start getting into the long vowels um, and some of the other soundings. Now see, he started working on this. Um, he's We're just getting into this one. Um, so it's, yeah, so going from cut to cute, mad to maid, cub to cube, Tim to time. So I really, really like these. And they have all sorts of, uh, let's see if... It's the same kind of activities, like, you know, writing up a slide or snake, but they also have more phonics rules that they include. You know, like they'll say O-A and O-W, say O, like boat and blow. Then they'll have the activities that go along with it. So I feel like this is such a simple phonics um, program that really, really works. Now, we'll show you beyond the code. Now, like I said, it doesn't line up. The level one does not line up with Explode the Code 1. This is more difficult. This is a uh, comprehension and reading skills. So this you would go through with either three or four, um, Explode the Code, and they have levels one, two, three, and four for this. So what they do in this book, and my son just started, we started this one today, it goes through and introduces words to them, more words, and then finding pictures and lining those up. But the main thing is they, they will read through a short story. And once they read through this short story, they're usually sort of cute, silly stories, they will answer some simple questions. Okay. And then there's a few other things. So this is more reading comprehension. So that's why they have to have some more of a, a foundation before they start this book. Some more words that they work on, you know, door and ball and all and fall, come. And then again, they find the words that go with the sentence, draw the line, and then they read the Jack the Dog part two. 
and then they have more comprehension questions. So this is a really nice book. I did go through this one with my daughter who's eight. And they have a few other stories in here as well besides Zach the dog. Um, six kids jog. So, and obviously the stories get more difficult as you progress. But these are really what we use for phonics um, for first and second grade with my kids and my daughter who actually she did another program this year but she used these for first grade she did levels three and four last year for first grade and she is reading great my son he did kindergarten this year so he did levels one two and two and a half so hopefully this is helpful to somebody have a great day